Hey everybody, Chris from Up North Air Gunner. Uh, today it is uh, about five degrees here in northern Michigan. Uh, definitely not shooting weather, but I am so excited. I got my Hunter Supply tuned uh, barrels back from David Williams from Hunter Supply that I just had to come out and test them out. So I actually sent the uh, 357, the 308, and the 45 to David for him to do his magic on all the barrels. So what David does to the barrels, uh, he basically takes the Air Force Texan platform, which is absolutely superb right out of the box. So as I got more and more into this, I realized that the 34 inch barrel that's on the Air Force Texan, it creates massive amounts of power in all of the 308, the 357, and the 45. It does that through advanced valving technology, but also just through the basic physics of having a longer barrel, creating more pressure, creating faster velocities with the bullets. Well, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword that I have found. When you, the longer barrel that you get, you're gonna have more and more barrel harmonics that, to deal with, to contend with. What I found with big bore air rifles is our bullets are not traveling maybe maybe a thousand feet per second if you're using very lightweight ammunition for that caliber. But typically, we're gonna be shooting in that 800, 950 range-ish. So that's a pretty slow moving projectile. And when you're dealing with the barrel harmonics, which is just the natural vibration of the barrel, that there's a lot of things you can do to compensate for that. You see guys out there putting carbon fiber sleeves on their barrels, uh, but what David does is he actually finds that sweet spot right in the barrel with something called a deresonator device. It's, it's basically a rubber donut that goes onto the barrel. He's gonna find that perfect sweet spot based on uh, pressure and different projectiles. And what's great about David is he'll talk you through that about different pressures, different bullet weights, and using that sliding, uh, that de-resonating donut to find that sweet spot. And so this is the 308 here with actually the Hunter Supply uh, short shroud there at the end. So anyway, I kind of wanted to show you a little bit today um, about basically my, my after results. I've got some targets from my before uh, results, but when I sent them to David. The other thing I want to talk about is his short shroud and the way he chose to produce his shroud to go onto the barrel. I will just say that David and Hunter Supply, the way they chose to put on their shroud is quite ingenious in my mind. It's simple to slide on the barrel, but each caliber of the shroud will only fit that barrel. So if you try to take this uh, shroud and put it on any other barrel, it either it's gonna be too small or way too big and you can't, it's basically made to go on that Texan barrel. So without further ado, I'm getting snowed on. So let's get some rounds down range and see how this does. Okay, so today I'm actually using the, uh, the Hunter Supply 132 grain Spitzers for the 308. Let's see how they do. Okay, let's talk about this pressure drop shot here a little bit more. Uh, what happened here actually is I was tethered to my bottle, which I assume is going to be continuously shooting every shot at 2,900 PSI. But what happened was that carbon fiber bottle that I had uh, was not as full as I thought it was. So the pressure did start dropping. Even though it was regulated off of that bottle, um, I basically am losing pressure off this carbon fiber bottle, and my pressure now drops to 2,500 PSI. So why this is important is these pressure losses are a lot bigger when you're shooting in cold weather. It's just really important to point that out as many of us who are shooting the Air Force Techs and our hunters and hunting seasons are often in cold weather, like the deer season here in Michigan. And it's just really important to know what your gun's gonna do from shot to shot in colder weather versus maybe when you sighted it in back in September or August when it was 60, 70, 80 degrees back then. So uh, what's great about shooting with a mil dot scope, 
you can compensate for these pressure drops and just no one shots three and four and five you can actually start compensating. You just need to know what your, your gun's gonna be doing from shot to shot, but it's all dependent on the temperature that you're shooting at. So make sure you re-zero your rifle when it gets cold out. All right, looking pretty good. Awesome. All right, let's pull out the 45 and see how that does. All right, so we've got the 45 set up now, uh, the 45 Air Force Texan. Same setup, I've got the Hunter Supply short shroud specifically made for the 45. And you'll notice on this tuning, David went to a single tuning deresonator where the 308 actually uses two back to back. And uh, so basically, and so that tuning donut comes, came down about maybe two, two and a half inches away from the, uh, the short shroud. Well, we just lost the primary camera from the extreme cold weather. So the second lesson learned from this video is camera batteries also don't like the extreme cold weather at five degrees. So for the rest of this video, we will be only uh, having the, the actual target camera. So anyway, so let's see what the 45 can do. So there we go, those are the results with the Air Force Texan 45 after it had been tuned by David Williams of Hunter Supply. Extremely happy with these results. Uh, I had seen these same results with the 357 tuned barrel. The 308 did fantastic. The 45 is absolutely a laser beam shooter. I'm gonna be playing a little bit more with different ammos, different pressures. So I'll tell you what, I'm very pleased with this. Uh, if you have an Air Force Texan and you wanna take your barrel to that next level, Send it to Hunter Supply and let David do his magic.